guys I'm back with a hot topic desperate housewife actor Eva Longoria is under fire okay she's trending number one on Twitter she's under fire over her comment concerning the US elections come on in let us dissect and analyze lovers how are you all doing I hope everyone is doing good I'm here with a hot topic a trending gist okay the internet is buzzing the internet is shaking all right so the desperate housewife actor Eva Longoria is under fire over her comment concerning the US elections all right if you're seeing my face for the first time you're welcome to my youtube channel join the family okay subscribe like and share stick around let's gist let's dissect leave me a comment below let me know what you think about the story that i'm about to share with you right now okay all right i keep looking this way <laughs> i'm supposed to be looking here okay get serious all right so eva longoria granted an interview as we all know these hollywood stars they just feel that when they are just because they are stars they are being they've been in movies you know top movies they feel like they know it all and they want to talk and rant and rant and rant and then they they start saying things that they're not supposed to say but sometimes it's very good that they say it because you know out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speak it okay so she's telling the truth this is how she feels about black people okay all right so Eva Longoria was asked in an interview what she thought about this American election that Joe Biden just won and so she went ahead and she was explaining the guy was throwing questions at her, at her and she was responding and then when he when he came to the question about how she felt about women how women turned up to vote for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris she went forward to say she was very proud that women turned up very well and that black women voted but this is where she got it all wrong she said black, black women voted but the real heroes in these elections are the Latinas the white Latinas I don't think she's talking about the Afro Latinas she said it okay so this is where the internet was like Oh, and sometimes I, I just don't understand. You were asked a question, and you know something that's very funny about these women. They always stand as we support women. We are fighting for women's rights. We're, we're pushing for women. We're rooting for women. But here you are. You were asked a simple question. You 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 didn't need to say but. Even if you want to praise your Latina women and lift them up there, it's okay. You are a Latina. It's fine. We see how you people behave even towards your fellow Afro-Latinas. Like, you people act somehow, okay, they are not always recognized. They are not always on TV. So, we, we understand. We do not need anyone to root for us. We can root for ourselves as black people. So, you just could answer the question straight and say, yes, I, I'm very proud that my people turned out the latinas turned out and they voted more than the latina men you could have said it okay you okay you, you later came out with this apology um letter apology write-up that you uh, please read and to me it doesn't still make any sense but from my from the bottom of my heart i want people to forgive you and not hold this against you but not for i don't want them to forget forgive but don't forget because she has just come out to tell you the kind of person that she is and how she feels consigning black people because saying in your statement that uh, your your words were misunderstood and you did not mean it the way people took it well if you wanted to just praise your Latina women and thumbs up to them and you know that's fine you should have just kept the black women out of your mouth it was that that simple I always tell people when you're saying something just if you know what you will say, it will not it will come out in a different way. You better not say it. You should have not mentioned black people at all, black women. 
and praise your Latina women. That is fine by everyone. No one would have come for you. And as for Kerry Washington, that came out to try to, you know, support her, to show her love. Okay, we all have friends. And we need to stand with our friends when they're in difficult position. But sometimes you have to allow your friends to take the fall for their foolishness. This was a complete foolish act on the part of Eva Longoria. Uh, for me, in my opinion, I feel like a woman like Eva Longoria should know better. When she's talking in an interview or anywhere, she should be careful what she says. If she truly knows that she is not a racist, she is not someone that doesn't see other race as equal to hers. We know that every race is always coming for the, for the black people. So it's not strange. It's not, it's not something that is uncommon. It's very common. We see it every day. But we're saying, don't come back to apologize because this was not even apology. We're just trying to explain what you meant, that you were saying that the uh, Latina women turned up more than the Latina men and you're proud. And something, something else she mentioned that I don't want people to forget is, listen, she also said that the Latina women are the ones in power, they're the one holding purse, they're the one uh, handling the um, uh, health sector and all of that. So this goes to show you how the politics is being run in the US. So black women know who you are. And she also said black women are strong. They've been the, the shoulder to stand on. No, don't stand on their shoulders, okay? Because that is too much of a load for one person alone. I mean, one group of people alone. So it is fine. Thank you very much, Eva Longoria. We hear you. We see you. Thank you. For now, I am out, guys, till I have another trending gist to give to you. I am taking myself out of here. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video so we'll always be here to dissect, analyze together. All right, guys. So, bye.